is one of those rare laptops I haven't actually covered on this channel. It's the HP Li Desk 840 G7 14 inches notebook. This, my friends, is decent. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you quickly how you can go ahead and upgrade this laptop. Right here, I have a 512 gigabyte of SSD, but I want to go ahead and put in a 1 terabyte of SSD like you can see there. It's an NVMe SSD Gen 3. This is one good quality SSD that you can actually go ahead use to upgrade your laptop. This video is not sponsored, but I just felt like I can actually quickly tell you that because I have used this for a very, very long time and I realized that this is something that you can actually use. See, if you flip this laptop over, you are going to be seeing that there are one, two, three, four, five screws here and I'm just going to go ahead and take them out one after the other because without taking out the screws, you have absolutely no way to get to install a new NVMe SSD on this machine right here. So that's two and that's the third one and the last one is right here. See, when you unlock these screws, don't be scared, it's not going to fall off because right now HP has pretty much realized that long time ago these screws used to fall out and people didn't like that idea. But right now you can just unscrew your laptop and you still have the screws in place. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and try to pry this laptop open. And if I do it right, this is exactly what I have in here. Taking a look at this, that's the NVMe SSD right there. And this laptop already has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And because of that, I'm not going to mess with this right here. But later on, I still have to kind of clean up this fan because take a look at it. Everything is so dusty. It's expected because this is a machine that has been working you know, tirelessly. And this machine here has no intention of actually stopping. So with the same screw, I'm going to go ahead and open the NVMe SSD. Just be careful sometimes because the screws might be so tight. And if you use the wrong screwdriver, you might end up you know, ruining the screw head right there. But this pretty much came out easily. And I'm just going to pop that out. All right, and take that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unbox my SSD. If you wanna see a comprehensive video of me, you know, talking about this SSD, pretty much click on the link here. You are definitely gonna find that. So with the SSD out, I'm gonna take it and slot it back on. And thereafter, replace my screwdriver like that, all right? It's an easy process. You pretty much do not need any specialized keys to do this. But the only tip I can give to you is just be gentle while you are handling this stuff because you never can tell when things will just go wrong. But if you have handled this laptop, you know, open it carefully. You are not forcing out the screws. And when you opened it, you didn't have to, you know, force this out to make sure that the clips here are broken. You can pretty much do that in a matter of minutes all right that is done i only have to clean this and then we are ready to close this laptop back again honestly speaking this is a very decent laptop and if you are looking for something you know in a very good condition like this feel free to check the link in the description below we've got pretty decent laptops for you that you can actually go ahead today order one for yourself and it's going to be delivered to you right away see now i have the back cover in place all i have to do now is to gently make sure that i kind of you know clip them on just like that all right and then thereafter go back and gently you know replace my screws so if you've done that you can then go ahead test out your laptop make sure everything is working exactly the way it should be if you've had difficulties doing this let me know in the comment section but if this video has helped you to replace the nvme ssd on your hp li desk 840 g7 then do me a favor go to the comment section let me know about it click on the like button subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed until i see you again in the next one peace